Okay, let's do another one. I measured a circle circumference. Circumference is 56. I know a possible error of 1.2 in my measuring, especially circumference. Do you see how there's a lot bigger discrepancy? <coughs> circumference is kind of hard to measure. <coughs> so, I want to though find my percent error. Is there a difference between percent error and propagated error? Percent error is just, you'll see, it's propagated error made into a percent. You'll see. So, I have my circumference. I measured my circumference, right? But what are we trying to find? Propagate error of area. So my formula, where do you want to find percent error of my error of my area? So this is my formula pi r squared. Isn't that what I'm going to be deriving? But do we have anything with a radius in here? Aren't we finding the error of my area? But we have nothing dealing with area. What do we have? Don't we have circumference? Isn't, what is circumference? If you didn't know, it's 2 pi r. I, do I know my circumference? Yes. Yeah, aren't we dealing with circumference? Yes. Could I go and change this equation to have a c instead of an r? Yes. Because, aren't we dealing with circumferences? Mm -hmm. Isn't this measurement in circumference length, not in radius length? So, basically we need to, for this equation, we need to solve this for r. So you got r equals c over 2 pi. And then we're going to come and stick this right there. So my equation looks like it's going to be c squared and over 4 pi. Does that look right? Yeah. Pi squared? Yeah. No, because the pi is going to cancel with that pi. Pi is going to cancel with that pi. So that's my formula. Are we going to derive that? Yes. So the derivative of this is going to be dA, and what are we deriving by? C, correct? Is there anything in terms of circumference? And isn't that a C there? So what's the derivative? Oh, can I just put one? Can I bring that out? Is that a constant? 1 over 4 pi? So isn't that just c squared? What's the derivative of c squared? 2c. Is that OK? Isn't there really a dc, dc? But I don't need that because that's 1. Now, can I multiply both sides by dc? And I now have da equals c over 2 pi dc. What are we trying to find? The percent error. So don't we need the propagated error first? The amount of error off? I want this. Do I know c? Yes. Yeah. But what's this 1.2? Is that dc? Isn't that the, the possible error, the change of my circumference? Is that correct? So wouldn't dA be equal to 56 for circumference over 2 pi? And isn't my change on circumference going to be plus or minus 1.2? <coughs> so your dA ends up being, I'll just give you that funky looking number, that funky looking number ends up being plus or minus 33.6 pi. That's your possible error discrepancy. It's your possible error discrepancy. Now, 
That's your propagated error. I want my percent error. What's the area of this if it was accurately drawn? Wasn't that circumference 56? Could I go back to this formula and plug in my actual circumference and find what the area should be? Going to here, if I plug in the uh, 56 to this, do I want to get an area of 56 squared? Oops, that's not supposed to be there. Over 4 pi? Are you guys okay with that? Is that the area we should have? So wouldn't the percent error be this? divided by the actual area it should be. You guys okay with that? Isn't that the propagated error? The 33.6, I messed up. Wouldn't the percent error be the amount it should be off, could be off, divided by the actual area it should be? Would that be your percent error? And it ends up being 4.286% off. If you take what the area should be, okay, divided by what it sorry what it should be divided by how much off you could be that little bit of amount off out of the whole area, it is a four point three percent off of your area. So your area could be off by about four point three percent. 